Hello everybody, welcome to my website, Richard Moss Radical Aliveness. What I'm going to introduce you to now is a basic model that I use. It's at the heart of all of my work. I've developed it over the last 13 or 14 years. And it's like a compass. A compass that makes you understand when you're in the present moment and how you leave the present moment. I call it the mandala of being. The word mandala means circle, and these mandalas are symbolic tools for teaching consciousness, for teaching how to come into a deeper connection to yourself. They're particularly from the East. The mandala of being, the center of the mandala, and a mandala is a circle that is strongly oriented toward the center, four directions. The center of the mandala is the present moment, now. We're always in the now. But frequently what happens is we're pulled into past stories, thoughts about the past, images from the past, and based on our past stories, we anticipate the future, and we tell ourselves stories about what might happen in the future. And of course, by the time we get past infancy, we start to develop a sense of ourselves as separate, and so we begin to have stories, thoughts, beliefs about ourselves that we're telling ourselves. And at the same time as we develop the sense of me, we're simultaneously developing the sense of other. And other is, well, maybe people, our caregivers, as life gets more complicated, it's everything that we can really think about, and I call those the you stories. So essentially this teaching is, I'm in the now, that's a sense of completeness and wholeness, and then I lose myself in me stories. Or I learn to recognize my me stories and not lose myself in the now. Or I'm in the now, but I get lost in my you stories, and I'm identified with my judgments of other people, or my judgments of my career, or my judgments of my body, and they have a negative effect on me. Or I can be aware of my thoughts about others, but I'm in myself. Same thing with past and future. It's, we have to have a past that gives us depth, but we don't want to be caught too far in the past because we lose ourselves, in, instead of being in the originality of the present moment. So I try to teach people the contrast between being in the now and being in these stories, or in the future stories. And it is out of this contrast between nowness and embodiedness, which I call radical aliveness, and the recognition of how you leave yourself into the stories that, about yourself and the emotions they create, the stories about others and the emotions they create, the stories about the past and the emotions they create, or the stories about the future and the emotions they create. In that contrast, you learn to wake up and come back into the present moment. So it's a compass. It teaches you where you've gone. It would like be a Harry Potter, but suddenly it's out to you, no, 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 you're too far in the new story, come back. No, 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 you're too far in the future, come back. And so what you'll next, you'll see and, uh, on, this, on the website is a much longer description of this mandala, more in depth. And then you'll see a series of other uh, examples of how this can be used to help you free yourself from the pain and suffering that's caused by your own stories, and how it also can be used to teach you how to create a, a welcoming and healing space for the really challenging feelings that happen in life.